Kidney stones during pregnancy can be difficult and problematic. This is because diagnosis can be challenging. Once you've actually diagnosed a kidney stone, then it becomes problematic with how you manage them. Conservative management is at the forefront. Uh, and if intervention is needed, we have to keep in mind that quality of life is the number one most important thing to get patients through their kidney stone event, and so ureteroscopy is acceptable. The unique risk factors for kidney stones during pregnancy are that they have an increased excretion of various things, particularly calcium. Um, the other thing is that they have an elevated urine pH, which puts them at risk for a unique type of stone called calcium phosphate, which is not the most common in the general population. The primary way we diagnose is typically with renal and bladder ultrasound, where it'll show hydronephrosis with kidney stone. If kidney stone is not seen and it, and it can be confused with hydronephrosis of pregnancy, other diagnostic modality choices are transvaginal ultrasound, MRU haste, and low-dose CT scan. Once a kidney stone is diagnosed during pregnancy, you have to figure out how to manage it. And there's basically two pathways that you can choose. Conservative management is always the preferred method. There's various reasons why you would not choose conservative management, and that would lead you to intervention. With regards to intervention, there's two pathways. You can choose either temporary drainage with stent or nephrostomy tube, or you can choose definitive management with ureteroscopy. Physicians should be aware that kidney stones during pregnancy are problematic. They can put you at risk for various things like spontaneous abortion or preeclampsia. I think it's also important for physicians to understand that ureteroscopy is an acceptable choice to handle kidney stones during pregnancy, whereas previously it was not accepted.